Hi, I'm David Saxby, the host of The Difference with Lion Dave, a show where we interview leaders of the pack, people who are making a difference in our community. And I want to encourage you to join us where we interview people who are making a significant difference in the world of giving and the world of charity. We look forward to having you on our show. Today's guest is Candida Tachi. She's the president and founder of Women In. So, Candida, tell us a little bit about Women In and what the purpose is in the community today. Thank you, Dave. Thank you for having me here. Women In, Women In is a community-based organization. We're not for profit, and we work with women 18 and over, especially when they're entering into their careers or in the middle of their careers or actually um, at the end of where um, they have that last bit of their career and, and what are the some of the things that they would like to um, do. So we really are an organization that looks at the whole self, the whole self and how do you take care of yourself, that self-care component. And uh, we work in different areas taking care of yourself, women in within yourself, women in within um, your connections and your, and your organization, and women in within the community. So we really look look at what is happening today, what are some of those, um, you know, issues that are occurring in this ever-changing environment and this new world that everybody's talking about. Lots of changes. So tell me a little bit about um, why it's so important to get involved in the community and give back, especially at this time. Well, as I said, we're really entering into this new world and it is definitely one of those, um, you know, giving back has always been extremely important to really help, you know, um, giving as much as you can, contributing as much as you can. And I think it's uh, when you really have those skills and, and that knowledge, you really want to give back to that community that really needs and, and supports you and, uh, and just where you can make that difference. And I think in this day and age, as we, as we have seen, we really need to look at the impacts that we can make within the world itself, actually. And with the organization, is there any partnerships that have brought this forward or created this, this uh, opportunity in the community? So I think, um, you know, with the community and with partnerships, the Women In really works with so many different organizations and it's just not about women. It's about everyone that supports women and that really wants to make that difference. We have anyone from, you know, uh, we've got CEOs that have retired where we ask and say, you know, why are more women not in these roles? Why are they not in their careers? And they're out there to help us to really uh, help us look at what are those areas that um, they need the skills and and you know why is one person accepted over another and they really help us look at filling in those gaps so that we can help the career women within women in fantastic so within this group of yours or within the community in general is there somebody that you'd like to give a shout out to that's uh, doing a tremendous job um, so I think uh, with, uh, like I said, we're partnered with so many different groups and there's so many different groups that really help within the community, within different types of sectors. And I always think of the most vulnerable. And I think the biggest shout out that I do want to give is um, a group that works in there called Not In My City. And, um, you know, that's really Paul Brandt, um, you know, is lead of that. But, you know, the people behind that really help put so many initiatives together. Um, they're just, you know, in the news lately, recommendations to, to really highlight some of those really vulnerable groups that we as women in also want to help and see how we can, you know, make that difference in that and help in that journey. And is there someone within your, your organization, within Women In, that uh, stands out in your mind of doing just a tremendous job well and above beyond a sort of call of duty? 
Well, I think you can see by the smile on my face. The co-founder with me is Caitlin Bullock, and this woman came in as soon as we saw each other. It's like, yeah, we're going to be friends for a long time. And uh, she's just unbelievable. She's unstoppable, actually. And her creativity is just, yeah, it's, it's really helped put women in where we are today. Great. So with relation to being able to present your organization to the community in general, uh, what would you say is, is one of the things that people could do to help uh, support the organization? That's a very good uh, um, question, Dave. I think that there's so many different areas to support us. Um, you know, we really like to keep the conversations going. So when, you know, we have those really tough conversations, those really tough questions on, you know, um, you wouldn't be doing this if, if I were a man or we're women. One of the biggest reasons why Women In even came about is just seeing why aren't we more women supporting women? Why aren't we lifting each other up? And I and we'd really like to just have everybody get involved with that to you know really um, continue the converse, those hard conversations and find answers so that we can all work together and support each other. Fantastic. So, in addition to being a guest on our show today and telling us a little bit about Women In, we've also got a, an anonymous donor who has uh, paid for a membership in the Calgary North Hill Lions Club on your behalf. So that is so uh, fantastic to hear. Oh wow, that that's fantastic. So Candida, how can people get in touch with you to find out more about your organization and what you're doing in the community? Um, definitely contact us. You can, uh, you know, get onto our website. It's womenin.ca. W O M E N I N. Dot ca um, or and if you want to get a hold of me it's just president at womenin.ca